All right, earlier on the program, we saw pictures of the presidential reception for the Nigerian uh, Super Eagles and the um, national awards that were conferred on the players and officials of the team. I have the honor um, to have on the program two legends of Nigerian football, Emmanuel Amunike, former Super Eagles forward and striker. And I also have the legendary goalkeeper, uh, Peter Rufai, on the program today. I call him the legendary. And also, Emmanuel Amunike, also um, a legend of the Nigerian Super Eagles. Let me start with you, Peter Rufai. I mean, proud to the uh, commencement of the Africa Cup of Nations, Nigerians were worried that the Super Eagles had goalkeeping problems. But what you saw at the Africa Cup of Nations as a former goalkeeper, can you comfortably and conveniently say that that area has been solved? Um, thank you, Promise. Um, before the AFCON 2023 Ivory Coast, um, uh, Nigeria has been yearning for a better goalkeeper. And uh, just before uh, the team left for Cote d'Ivoire, uh, we, we got the news of uh, Stanley Mwabali joining the team. And in the commencement of the AFCON, the first match against Equatorial uh, Guinea, um, that was my first time seeing uh, Stanley Mwabali. Immediately, I assessed his performances, I assessed his movement, I assessed his uh, communication, and, uh, his composure. And immediately, I said to myself, yes, Nigeria have been able to solve this problem. The yearning of Nigeria getting a better goalkeeper for the Super Eagles. Mwabale in that first match, you know, satisfied me. My, I was happy with what I saw. And Nigerians were happy with what they saw as well. But it did not just end there. Subsequently, Mwabali continued with, you know, uh, by growing into the uh, competition, you know, performances, communications, you know, composure, and, uh, you know, maintaining and dominating the six meters and including the uh, uh, 16 meters uh, area of the field. His coming out anticipation, reading the game was fantastic. I loved it. There was a time when Bali came close, uh, almost 30 meters to 40 meters away from his goal, you know, um, to save what could have been another danger, you know, for the Super Eagles. But because he was reading the game, you know, he's not just in the goal post as a goalkeeper, but he was busy reading the game. And that was something, you know, I, I really liked about Stanley Wabali. That is a good performance. Not only that, there was a match played again. I think that was uh, the match, uh, if I'm not mistaken, was it against uh, South Africa. He came out in anticipation of a true pass. But suddenly, the ball was, you know, stopped by the defense. A very strong defense of the Super Eagles led by Truth Ekon. And... The striker saw him. The striker saw him. I think whether uh, Mukopan or something like that. He saw him, you know, backsliding, you know, you know, going back, and he took a shot. Mwabali from at the 12 meters of his goal stretched out to parry that ball away. That will show you a quality goalkeeper. That mm. will show you a goalkeeper that is reading the game. That will show you that this goalkeeper is not just sleeping or is not just there as the goalkeeper in between the sticks. In fact, Wambali went on, not just only there, in the penalty shootouts. Wambali now demonstrated, you know, reflex, demonstrated composure, demonstrated the mind reading. You know, you must read a striker. When a striker drops the ball to take a penalty, as a goalkeeper, you must read the mind. So imagine where left or right is he going to play the ball? Mm. You know, that is one. But notwithstanding, he stretched, his dives were very accurate, and he saved us in the penalty shootout. Mwabali went on again. His area balls, coming out to take the area balls, fantastic. Mwabali communicating with his defense, that was fantastic. Communicating with the defense, you could see what the defense did. In the last match, you could see how the defense was marking without the ball. That is disciplines of, of marking. Disciplines of marking comes in play 
when the defense are closing up every space that the opponent is trying to use to penetrate, there you see good defense closing up the space. And this is due to the communication coming from the goalkeeper led by Plus Econ in the defense line, making the defense line watertight. Fantastic. When they took the shot, you could see the shot taken that uh, uh, I think uh, Bassi, I think Bassi used his leg, Bassi used his leg to stop the shot from going in. That is defensive close up, mm. where you try to close up all the spaces, not allowing the opponent to have the room to penetrate and do whatever they like. So okay. this is my take for uh, the uh, Stanley Mwabali. I give him a thumb up, and mm. Nigeria gave a thumb up. Nigeria loved what he did. Nigeria loves his performances. I, as a goalkeeper, I tell you, I love the performances <laughs> of Stanley Mwabali. And I give him thumb up and the defense as well.